All right, we're going to try some, try to see if I can use my timing light uh, on here to see if I can either see which way I need to go with the timing or either advance or retard it. Um, at this point, I think I may need to advance it because it very seldom kicks back. Um, so we're going to clamp on here. This is going to be the first start of the day. We'll see how good it works. Um, see if it kicks back on me. See how long it takes this to start it. Figured I may be able to see the timing light a little better. Um, not sure how much is showing up on this video. I don't have too much light on out here. I'm sure the neighbors aren't too happy with me. It's about 10:30 at night. Um, since my last video, I've upgraded to <laughs> don't laugh at this, but an MSD blaster coil. Here's the. Uh, coil I've got, the Blaster 2 coil, part number 8202. Um, no real reason I went to this, but I was in the store and I figured why not pay the extra couple dollars and go from just a stock coil to, you know, an MSD thing. Um, the other thing I figured out, or not figured out, but I was thinking that maybe I should go to, you know, a better name brand coil rather than a stock replacement. Um, due to the high RPMs that this thing is turning. Um, you got to keep in mind that, you know, this thing is triggered off the crank and, you know, this bike spins, you know, what, 8, 10, 11,000 RPM, you know, and uh, most stock coils, in fact, most even above stock coils aren't made to handle that. So I figure my well, might as well go as high as possible uh, on the coil. I've got everything packed in, as you've seen last time. Since last time, um, nothing real special going on. I haven't wired the lights in yet, nor the kill switch. The kill switch is still a method of just turning the ignition off on the left side. I have uh, conduited it, or put wire loom around it, and routed it up behind here. Um, still running my same old pickup. That's a, uh, I think what that fits, I think I looked on the computer, it's like an old Chrysler product, um, which I think is kind of funny because I'm running a Chrysler pickup with a GM HEI module 
um, decided to route my spark plug wire on the other side of the bike onto the left side um, because I discovered the other night that um, it was arcing into the pickup line which I'm sure is not good for the pickup coil um, nor the module I'm sure it's back feeding into the module um, so I've cleaned that up a bit right like I said routed it up into here some um, with my awesome red zip tie that doesn't match anything um, thanks to my assorted pack and I've routed it up enough to where I believe it stay out of my clutch um, and hopefully that leaning up against there will help with the high heat it's supposed to it says flame retardant whether or not that means high heat or not I don't know um, now with my timing light I've just seen that my pointer is staying static with the pickup which is good that means it's firing every time um, which I do expect from an HEI system um, also um, I was seeing my TDC mark staying pretty much in line with the top um, so basically that means I am firing zero degrees meaning at top dead center um, it has been backfiring on me maybe out of five kicks, two, two maybe three out of five kicks are backfires. Um, I've also stepped up, I've rewired everything, um, not only just put loom around it, I've rewired it to a little heavier gauge wire um, just to make sure that I get the best spark possible. Um, that's about it.